hey planner buddy hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm doing my weekly spread for july the 5th through the 11th and i'm doing another princess spread and i'm going to be doing mulan this month um so i wanted to kind of um, do this spread this week um, because i'm going to disney actually on saturday and sunday and um i'm going with um some friends and some and my cousins and one of my cousins favorite um disney princess is mulan and it's her birthday this month so i wanted to combine um our disney trip with the fact that this is her favorite princess and it's also her birthday so i thought it'd be nice to dedicate this spread to her so yeah so i'm just starting off i had already picked out um a couple of stickers that i wanted to use um and boxes and kind of laid them out kind of how i wanted to um so i'm just putting down the boxes on the weekend um i just wanted to use some big boxes um because there's only one thing that i'm going to be doing this weekend so um and i put mushu in the corner um just to use him i thought he was a good size and i didn't want to um, not have them in the spread so i'm also using other um, decorative pieces from the sticker books like these little lanterns and the little um, hair clip that they have and so yeah i'm pretty much moving on now to the top corner there just adding some decorative boxes and i also decided to go with um using the gold foil sometimes i don't use foil at all on my princess spreads um but this time i really wanted to use um the gold foil so now i'm putting other um functional boxes down um throughout the week just some small ones and i'm trying to balance out the colors and of course monday is my day off because of the 4th of July, so I need a big box here to write that in. Can't forget that it's my day off. Um, yeah, so I had to white out on most of these boxes here on this side, um, the Mulan that was there, the little um, picture, because I didn't want the same image repeated um, throughout the spread too much, so I just white it out and put another like banner or circle sticker over it, and you can't barely tell i mean some of the white out peeks out but i mean it's fine um you could always just use a bigger sticker to cover that up as well so i'm putting mulan down here in the bottom corner her sticker was a lot smaller than most of the disney princesses because most of them had like big gowns that like poof out and then make the sticker bigger but her dress is very like simple and like closer to her body so um it was a bit different and um, I decided to put down a decorative box um, of Mulan wearing her green uh, outfit um, just to add in more and add in another little Mulan on that side. That one is um, in the same pose as the one um, that is on the red um, background, but it doesn't bother me too much because um, it's like not her whole body on both and they have different backgrounds, so it kind of looks different. Um, but yeah, I couldn't get around that, so it's okay to sometimes have the same sticker or like the same uh, character. So down here, I just put two horizontal boxes down, and now I'm moving on to the flowers. Since I always pair flowers with my princess spreads, I decided to do these like little cherry blossoms since there are cherry blossoms in the movie. Um, I think everybody has done this but i really wanted to do it as well um because i just think it's so cute and the pink flowers go with um her as well so i'm just adding some florals up on the corner and kind of having to cut out this little piece that i stick um on this side of the page um just to use up that little quarter and then i found this bigger um <laughs> floral sticker that i thought went better there so i had to pull everything up again and um yeah fit it in there so i'm adding some um floral stickers on the bottom here on on the left side or the right side of the page um just to get the floors going around the page and i go all over the place of course but i'm adding some more here kind of like to divide this whole section and i always end up having to cut this little extra like 
bud coming out um i'd had to do this on all of them so and i just end up using it on the other side or anywhere else that i can add a little decorative piece um yeah it's all about making your stickers work for you next i add these little sparkly magical um <laughs> dust particles i guess um just around the page um just to use them up you know just to get some of that sparkly disney magic around the page The sticker book itself had um, some cherry blossom flowers, but I don't use them because I think it just doesn't go very well. So now I'm going to be using um, some washi tape. I decided to go for a gold foil washi tape and I went for one that was kind of like striped. I didn't go for my usual polka dot one because I didn't think it really went with this spread. So I went with one that had like diagonal um, lines and thought it was super pretty and I hadn't really used this one before so um yay for using a new washi tape so I'm just adding it at the bottom and now I'm going to be adding some at the top as well but then moving on to the other side of the page I just really love adding washi and it's just an extra touch to the spread that just com kind of completes it and that's pretty much it for my spread um let me know what you guys think here's the final look i really like how this one came out um and i'm really excited for this week i'm really excited to be using the spread and i'm excited for my trip on the weekend yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know what uh you thought about this spread leave it down in the comments below and i will see you in the next one bye